Hi, Wildcat fans. We are pleased to be joined today by one of our newest defensemen, Sam McKinney, who will wear number four for the team. So welcome officially, Sam. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Thanks. I'm really excited to be a part of the organization. So it's been a little bit of a whirlwind since you were traded. Obviously, you didn't have to go through the whole quarantine piece coming from uh, from Bathurst. But what has the last week or so looked like uh, for you other than school right now? What have your days been filled with? Yeah, I was certainly lucky to not have to go through quarantine. And it's nice to get to Moncton and get right on the ice. But so far in red phase, uh, other than school, we've pretty much been coming home being a little bit of a couch potato at times. We got one or two workouts to do during the day and I have a, a stationary bike and a treadmill in the basement. So I've been living on those for a little bit and playing a little bit of Fortnite with some of the guys on the team is always fun. So that's uh, keeping me busy. Yeah, that's the key right now, especially for the guys that came out of quarantine, they're kind of back in it, but you know, exactly. workouts and, and school and all that stuff and hopefully be back on the ice sooner than later here. Um, so we'll just talk a little bit about your, your past, where you are now. So you were drafted by Blaineville in 2019, then traded to Bathurst, uh, with the team a little bit last year, but this is kind of your first full season in the league and quite a season to be joining, obviously in the midst of COVID it's been yeah. a, been a crazy first half. And I'm sure that there'll be a few ups and downs in the second. Um, but tell us, you know, how your season was to date so far in Bathurst. Yeah, you're definitely right. It's definitely a crazy first half and. When people look back on the year, they'll they'll probably say something about the COVID year and you'll have to put an asterisk on the points or something like that, maybe. But it's been fun. It's been a blast. It's it's just a great lifestyle. And especially coming from Bathurst to Moncton, it's just a crazy change. But I, I've loved it so far. And I'm, I'm hoping that I get a couple more years in. And you grew up, obviously, you're from New Brunswick, played minor hockey here and all that. Um, so what was hockey like in your community growing up? And, and how did you get involved in the sport? Was it through your family or, or just something? Yeah, you know? my dad was a hockey player all the way growing up. And he was coached by my grandfather. And now my dad coached me when I was growing up. I remember my first memory is because uh, I was three years old. We built a backyard rink and learned how to skate in the backyard rink. So hockey was pretty big in my community. And in the summer when you weren't playing hockey, you were either playing baseball or road hockey. So it's uh, something I picked up from a young age and I just never let it go, I guess. Do you still have the backyard rink at home at your parents' house or is that a thing of the no, past? No, the, the, uh, the ponds and the outdoor rinks still do for the summer and the, or the winter, sorry. And uh, getting on the ice as much as I can is, as I got older, is a little bit easier to get ice time in the summer and yeah. stuff. So <laughs> I had to get rid of the backyard rink, but it'll be missed. You'll need it this year, maybe. This this will be the one year that you <laughs> you need yeah, to find ice at some point. This is point. definitely the one year that it would have gotten more use than the others, but might have outgrown it by now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not quite big enough. No. Um. So for you guys, anyway, with Bath, there's only 15 games in the season so far. So we'll talk a little bit about last year. Um, you played with the Campbellton Tigers and had quite a good season with uh, 32 points in 43 games. What did you kind of build on last year and take away from that season as you transitioned um, into the queue this year? Well, I came from midget originally. So I came from midget right to junior A and junior A was a lot different of a league. It's a lot faster. They're playing against what some people would say grown men who are 20 years old as a, as a 17 year old. So it's different, but it was a blast. It was a lot of fun and it got me into the swing of things. And I think it was definitely the right step towards the queue because when you get up to the queue, it's, even faster than junior A is and they're even stronger and the plays are made even quicker. So it, but I love my year in Campbellton and I think it was the perfect way to go to get me where I am today. And you had a familiar face there as well. One of our, our current guys, Connor Richard, talk about maybe playing with him for a little bit and must've been nice to at least have a familiar face uh, once you joined the team this year. Yeah, definitely. I went to school with Connor in Campbellton as well. He was in a couple of my classes. We definitely shared a couple of classes together. So uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a ping pong table in the in the Campbellton room. So him and I were usually the first ones to rank playing ping pong. We had a couple of good matches for the, the whole season. You'll have to pick that up again because I know uh, that's a popular activity after practice and stuff at the rink here. We got a ping pong. Yeah, it is. The ping I saw the ping pong. One of the first things I saw was the ping pong table in the gym. I was pretty excited. Yeah. When one of your, what were you at the rink for two days, maybe before? before uh, I got a couple of days. I think I arrived on Friday, ended up getting two practices in and then 
one practice with the full team and then red hit and we were in lockdown. So didn't get too much time, but it was certainly nice to get acquainted with the room and all the guys. Have you guys, like you said, you've only been on the ice with them once or twice, but have you guys um, been trying to keep in touch over this, this red phase we're in via Zoom or anything to get to know some of the guys that way? Yeah, we've been on, we've been on Zoom with the team once or twice. Uh, mostly a lot of the guys that just get on, you know, PlayStation or Xbox and play some video games or just get into a, a PlayStation party and talk to the boys. And it's, it's good to keep in touch with them because everybody's getting a little probably tired of the COVID and in the red phase and isolating and everybody wants to just get going. So I know that's a, it's a lot of fun so far. It'll definitely help when you guys get back to that. You've already, you know, made those connections and, and had the chance to hang out a little bit. Um, yeah. One other thing. So looking at what kind of play, I know fans would have seen you play a little bit this year, but um, for ones that haven't, or, you know, might not remember those games against Bathurst, what kind of player are you overall? And uh, who would you say that um, you model your game after at the NHL level? I love that question. Uh, that's the, I'd like to think that I'd like to bring a little bit of offense to the team. It, it's certainly one of my roles. Uh, I'm a good puck moving defenseman and hopefully I can become a little bit of a fourth forward out there for our forwards, add some offense and maybe score a couple goals, goals or get a helper or two. But uh, I'd like to model myself after uh, Miro Heiskanen, where's number four for the Dallas Stars. He's a he's a great defenseman, good smooth skater, great passer, and gets in on the offense. So he's a guy that I'd like to model my game after for sure. That's great. And I know fans are looking forward to seeing you on the ice as well as, you know, the whole team hopefully will be back in action here sooner than later. And one last thing before I let you go, I know you said you're watching, uh, you're a bit of a football fan. So who do you have next weekend, Brady or Mahomes? Well, I'll be watching the, the Super Bowl. Yeah, eating my my nachos. So I'm a Brady fan and I think it's hard to bet against Brady in the Super Bowl. So I got to go with the Buccaneers, but you never know. Mahomes is a great quarterback, so it'll be a good game. It will be a good one. You guys will have to all uh, set up a Zoom call or something for that night if we're not out of red by then. Hopefully we are. Though. Yeah, maybe if we can get out of, the, <laughs> get out of red and get, loosen those restrictions, we might be able to have a couple guys over and split yeah. up a couple groups and watch the game, hopefully. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Sam, for taking, uh, taking the time today and can't wait to see you on the ice. Like I said, hopefully uh, very soon. Yeah, hopefully as soon as possible. <laughs> thanks, Sam. Awesome. Thank you, Courtney.